Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an online order from ConsumerCrafts.com. I'll leave the link in the description box. They had a sale on their embossing folders for $2. And I was not going to buy any of them because I was like, huh, I don't need embossing folders. I have a plenty. But when I clicked on the link, I saw this embossing folder that they had used in a different way that I had never thought to use. They had embossed all these eggs, colored them up, cut them out, and put them on a different project altogether. And I was like, I got to do that. I got to try that. I need that. So what I'm going to do, most of them have a little picture at the top right here. So I'm just going to show you that, that picture at the top, and then I'll turn it over on the back. So if you need to try to find it, I'll put it like that Easter egg background, and we'll move on. This is my third or fourth time trying to do this video, so I don't want to belabor it any longer. They have, Unless I go on a tangent, which is probably what I'll do. This bunny, this bunny looks a little bit creepy, only because of right here, but I think once it's embossed and you color it up, it will work itself out. A love script. I think I already have this Christmas tree, but I'm not sure. I may have a different kind because as you all know, those of you that have Tuesday mornings near you, a couple of months ago, maybe six, more than a couple, huh? Six months ago, they had a lot of embossing folders for 99 cents. Of course, none of these embossing folders in the Tuesday morning near me had these embossing folders in particular. So I was really excited to find and get these. Um, when I first got the embossing folders, what I did was they have watercolor paper at the Dollar Tree. And I had watercolored up, took a Tim Holtz dye and put some ink on it and ran it through and it looked really cool. I have been trying to find this Darice dye, not with the trees, but just this deer, a buck, um, forever. I couldn't find it. I even went online and I ordered this particular embossing folder with just the deer, not with the trees. So this is really cool. And tangent, yes, I know. Um, a lot of people have that. Um, dye that cuts out the birch tr birch wood trees in the background so that would be a great pairing for these two but I don't have that dye yet I guess I do have this butterfly dye you may have seen it when I did um, some of my die cuts so I thought that would be cool I like to layer things and that's called butterfly trio another thing that I got I'm into all of a sudden is like this fantasy like I have to have all of the, the um, mermaids and unicorn paper stamps dyes and fairies and so I thought these fairies would be very cute on the previous video I talked about this fairy taking like the nectar from here and maybe eating it getting ready to prepare a meal I don't know what she's doing but since fairies are small um, that's what she could have been doing. This little fairy is definitely ducking in from the rain. I like this one. And you know, if you are shopping on et on eBay, excuse me, not Etsy, eBay or AliExpress, you've seen those fairies that they have. And so I thought that was really cool. The thing is, these fairies that they're showing here are more childlike, less seductive some of the fairies on there I'm not sure what the heck's going on with them this really really pretty birdcage one and I love this a lot I have an idea of what I want to do with that one um so I'll probably do that in the coming weeks this birdhouse one I like these birdhouses I have bought a few birdhouses to color up and put outside on the balcony haven't got a chance to do that yet. My little roommate does not allow for a lot of crafting when he's awake. So I have to get my crafting in when I can. And I like this too. If you've been to the Dollar Tree lately or seen videos, you know a lot of people are hooked on those little garden gnome fairy things. And, and so am I because, you know, that's what I do. I, uh... 
got some lanterns and I think that this will go good with my little project idea that I'm going to try to share with you all but that's that's like a build up that's going to take a lot of time but the um, lantern may be about this big and I think that's going to be so cute and so I thought that that would be nice and it also reminded me of overseas even though this is more American style lantern I still thought about overseas um, I like this because you all know why. And I have an, a plan for this one. Hopefully I can do that this week or this weekend coming up. I'm not sure yet. It depends on my time. I got this one because I want to do some steampunk with this one. So hopefully I'll get a chance to do that soon in the month of April. I got these button ones because I have buttons that I want to do a mixed media project with these buttons love this love this roses and it has this mosaic I didn't think about paper piecing the, the um, together but I did think about coloring these different colors and doing things with them and I probably got that more from Carmen from Elemental Design she does a lot of fancy metallic painting and so I thought about that even though I only have a few metallics that I've gotten from Walmart and Michaels so I don't know we'll have to see how that goes I'll have to ask her for some help so that's all that I've that I've got from consumer crafts and they were all two dollars shipping let me see how much the shipping was if it shows me on here no it doesn't talk about shipping I want to say shipping was like four or five dollars maybe don't quote me um, so I thought that was pretty decent if you spend a certain amount of money you know for any place you usually get um, free shipping but I think it was fifty dollars and I could not see myself buying fifty dollars worth of embossing folders because I didn't need all of the ones that they had and some of the ones that they did have were out of stock so anyway thank you all for watching thank you to all my new subscribers thank you for all the wonderful comments you leave on all of the projects that i post thank you for the guidance and advice and happy crafting